You can literally save tens of thousands of dollars per year just by waiting tables if you do everything I'm about to tell you to do in this video. Manifest the moment. What's going on y'all? Manifest Mitchell here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I make videos all about crushing your goals, using financial independence to create your dream life, and of course, giving back to make the world a better place. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, and join me as we create our dream lives together. Let's jump into the video. The hospitality industry and waiting tables in general, I feel like is viewed overall in America as a dead end, low income, low value sector of the economy. The outside perception is that people who work in restaurants are just deadbeats floating between jobs and that they'll spend the rest of their lives trapped in a career with no potential. I've heard the excuse numerous times from fellow hospitality workers that I'm broke or I can't afford that because I'm just a waiter. I'm going to show you through the course of the video that this simply just isn't true if you do the things that I'm about to tell you to do. The whole goal of this video for me is to change the dialogue and the perspective about the reality of working in a restaurant and empower hospitality workers to use this job as a gateway to start changing their financial situation. As a good friend of mine, once told me working in a restaurant is the best job to have if you're trying to do something else in the meantime. Waiting tables is not something that I personally want to do for the rest of my life. I'm not one of these die-hard, overly enthusiastic restaurant lifers that wake up every day excited to bring people their food and drinks. But waiting tables has served me a solid purpose over the years. I've been able to develop my skills in this industry over the last decade that have allowed me to make an overall pretty decent dollars per hour relative to other jobs that don't require a college degree. High dollars per hour coupled with good budgeting and spending habits have allowed me to literally save tens of thousands of dollars every year solely from waiting tables. And hey, if you want some extra tips about how to cut your expenses, check out the links in the description for a few other videos I've made. Now keep in mind that high dollars per hour is completely dependent upon what restaurant you're working in, which brings me to my first point. Number one, work in a good restaurant. This sounds kind of cliche, but you really do want to pick a restaurant that has an excellent food and drink selection, the potential for high ticket items and check totals, a consistent, reliable, and worthwhile clientele, and just an overall good vibe that fits in with your personality and serving style. You could work 30 hours a week at a nice steakhouse or specialty restaurant and make literally double, triple, or quadruple what you would make working full time at say a lower level restaurant like Denny's or O'Charlie's. Now keep in mind that depending on your experience, you might not be able to immediately start as a cutting edge server in a high end establishment. You may have to spend some time paying your dues as a food runner or server assistant and work your way up to better and better restaurants. Doing this for a short while will totally be worth it though, I promise. Make sure to use this time as a way to build your knowledge base about products and cuisine and you'll eventually learn how to sell high end cocktails and fancy entrees. Which brings me to the second way to build wealth waiting tables. Learn how to sell. Figure out the highest cost food and drinks on the menu and what makes them desirable. Pitch these high end items to your customers when you're showing them the menu or they're torn between a couple different choices. For example, if someone asks for a Pinot Grigio, offer them the best one you have instead of just assuming they want the house brand. You can upsell like this for pretty much anything on the menu. If someone orders a plain salad, ask them if they want to add chicken or salmon or some sort of protein to their salad. I've even upsold people where the protein was more expensive than the original salad. You've got to get creative in how you sort of piece together a table's check throughout their night. Soups, salads, appetizers, cocktails first, wine with dinner, any way that you can to pump up the price of their check and pump up your tips. And speaking of pumping up your tips, my third tip is to optimize your tips for the hours that you work. Put your tips the night of the week and how many hours you worked into a simple spreadsheet or smartphone app. Collect some data over the course of months and years of how much you make during different shifts of the week. You'll start to recognize patterns of when the busiest times are at your specific restaurant, what kind of clientele comes in when, and how many dollars per hour you're making while you're working. This is huge. 
There have been weeks where I've worked 40 hours and made hardly any money, and a different week working less hours, but I worked the best shifts, and I made bank. Every restaurant is different, so you'll have to keep track of your tips every night, and over time you'll start to see patterns of when you're making the most money. Pick those shifts, get rid of the lower dollars per hour shifts, and maximize the time you spend working. My fourth tip to build wealth waiting tables is kind of a no-brainer, but definitely worth mentioning, which is to remember why you're there working. Through all of the hustle and bustle of work life, it's super easy I've found to get caught up in the good money, late night lifestyle, and depending on your restaurant, the instant gratification of walking out with cash that night, right then, right there. I've met so many industry workers that are caught up in the endless loop of bust your ass that day, party hard that night that leaves them in a constant state of spending all their money and chasing the quick hustle. This is totally okay if you wanna work in a restaurant your whole life. But like I said, I'm just not one of those people. I also personally try not to get too involved with my coworkers and their personal lives because the whole reason I'm working is so that I can make money for my dreams. Definitely make sure to try your best to get along with everyone you work with, but there comes a point for me where I've got zero room for drama or anything else going on that isn't helping me make more money. The last tip that I've got for you to build wealth waiting tables is to do your best for your customers. At the end of the day, the restaurant isn't paying you anything to be there. The people you serve are. Research fine dining etiquette and figure out how your service standard can be as best as possible, even to a higher standard than the level of restaurant that you work in. Figure out how you can add value to your customer's experience in any way possible. Keep their drinks more than halfway full at all times, make a birthday or celebration extra special in some way, and read your customer for what's going to make them happy. Making a young couple on a date happy is a completely different mentality than taking care of a single mom with three screaming kids. I always say take the temperature of your table. What are they wearing? What are they talking about? What sense of humor do they have? What sort of pace are they taking for their evening? You can dissect and translate all of this information about your customer to figure out what you can do to make them happy and give them the best time possible. Now most of what I just talked about is how to make more money waiting tables, which don't get me wrong, is completely different than building wealth. But the idea here is that by optimizing the money that you make waiting tables, coupled with good spending and budget habits, you can build real wealth by using your excess cash flow to invest in things that are going to go up in value or make you money over time. This could be in the form of real estate, the stock market, your own business, and so much more. For me personally, the goal has been to pile up excess cash flow on the side to invest in myself, my business, and other ventures so that I can one day work my dream job and not in a restaurant. It is possible to make pretty good money and build real wealth working in a restaurant. And hey, if you know somebody that works in a restaurant and isn't capitalizing on the tips that I gave you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with somebody who wants to start to build wealth waiting tables. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I'll catch you on the next video.